So e to the x sine y equals x plus y. Perfect pick. OK, so again, no one can solve for, for y, so we are asked to find dy over dx. Now, I hope you understand why writing y prime will be a problem. It's the same thing, but it will be a problem. Because if I omit the, the prime by mistake or I don't see it, but this you cannot miss. That's why we're using this notation in implicit differentiation. That's one reason. The other reason is to remember that this is a function. This is a function. So we are going to apply this operator to both sides. And this is, I have to be very careful because this is a product, but also this is a function of a function. Okay? So I use the product rule. The first function prime times the second one plus the first function, but now I have to be very careful. I differentiate the outer function first of the argument times the inner function prime, which is what I'm looking for. The other side is nice. x prime, just, just the variable, 1, but plus dy over dx. Good. Now this term and this term have the variable, but these do not. 1 has to move here, changing its sign. This one has to move here, changing its sign. So I move 1. So e to the x sine y minus 1 equals, and now because I don't want to write it twice, you, you don't have to do this, but I recommend it. So the term here is 1, but minus this piece, e to the x cosine y. Both have dy over dx in common, so that's why, careful, this times this is that, this times this, move to back to the other side is positive here. And now this is clear, dy over dx must equal whatever over whatever multiplies it. So 1 minus e to the x cosine y, and the top is e to the x sine y minus 1. Although you can say, yeah, very nice, but it's still depending on y. True, but if you give me any point, a comma b, I will be able to give you a value. But of course, this point has to verify the original equation. Otherwise, I can, there is no purpose in finding this number. So whatever the function was, this point a comma b, it will give us the equation of the tangent and also the slope. This will give the slope. But with a comma b, I can find the equation of the tangent. 